Hey guys, I'm Val, and today I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of give you tips and tricks on kind of going through depression and anxiety while being in college. So that is something I face on the daily basis. Um, I do struggle with anxiety and depression, but um, along the way, I have learned a couple things that can kind of make things easier and kind of prevent me from shutting down while being a full-time student and stressing about, you know, assignments and exams and things like that. So one of the biggest things I will recommend is getting, going out there and finding resources to help you. So one of those being the, there is, um, it's kind of like an accessibility resource on campus. I believe it's in the SSC, but basically um, they accommodate to mental health issues. So I have gone in there personally and asked for help um, with note taking because there will be times where I just can't find the strength to get out of bed to go to school or things like that. So they do send out emails to people in your class where they say there is someone in your class that needs um, the notes and they need this and they need that. And basically it just kind of helps you when you don't have the strength to go to school and you don't have the strength to take um, notes and things like that. Another thing that I find helpful is when I get anxiety during tests, the accessibility resource on on campus, they allow you to take a test outside of the classroom at a different time where you feel more safe and have more serenity. Um, Another thing that I find super helpful when I'm going through ruts of depression and anxiety is kind of going to either a roommate or a friend or a professor that I highly trust and kind of talking to them and getting their advice on what I should do or what um, I can do to kind of make me feel better. And honestly, talking to someone is really important because it just kind of allows you to accept what you're feeling at that moment and kind of get out of your own headspace and get someone else's perspective on what to do and how to help you. And I just feel it's really important kind of not to isolate yourself, which can be super easy to do when you're facing anxiety and depression. Um, yeah, so that's what I normally do when I'm going through that phases, but obviously there comes a time where it's just, you wanna be alone and you just have no motivation to do anything. And on days like that, while well, again, still being a full-time student, I set aside time to force myself to get out of bed which is really really difficult and again you have to know your limits on this part but I do try to set aside time whether it be 10 minutes 30 minutes or an hour where I can just sit down and focus on homework or focus on studying and if I do find myself getting anxiety or feel like I just need to be back in bed because I feel depressed I completely stop what I'm doing and I take care of my mental health first and if that means I have to take a little power nap, then I'll do that. Or if I just need to go outside and talk to someone, I will do that. But again, you have to know your limits in these situations. But I would say start by um, setting aside like 10 or 15 minutes where you can try doing a small portion of your assignment or a small portion of studying and then go back and forth and rotate um, you taking care of your mental health while still being able to balance school. So I f just feel like it's really important to find that initial balance and it is very hard to find at first but eventually you will get there um another thing that i find super helpful helpful sorry is going to the counseling center found on campus it is in the ssc room 430 and it is open five days out of the week monday through fridays and honestly i just go in there i set an appointment and i just talk about all the feelings i'm I feel and I know sometimes when you go to therapy it can be hard to kind of talk about what you're feeling because you can kind of be blindsided by everything so what I do is I normally journal and write down my thoughts and then before going to therapy I'll kind of read through them and talk about what I wrote down in, th in therapy and I would just get advice on what I've been feeling that day and honestly I find therapy super helpful and knowing that it's free and on campus, it's just another weight lifted off my shoulders because I don't have to worry about insurance or doing co-payments or things like that. But those are just a few tips and tricks that I do personally when I'm facing anxiety and depression while going to school. And I know it is really hard, but one thing I can tell you is time will 
will heal a lot of things. Time and resources will be your best friends. And I do highly recommend checking out the counseling center on campus because everyone in there is super supportive and great and 100% confidential. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope a few of these tricks help you.